at 11-4, Nebraska has been one of the most interesting teams for me all season. It has a really strong statistical profile and consequently has fared well in the computer rankings, 16th in Ken Palm. All statistics used in this article were found via Ken Palm and are up to date through the games completed on January 8th. Nebraska has only one noticeable statistical weakness. It seems to have contributed to their four losses to Texas Tech, Minnesota, Maryland, and Iowa and could hinder the team all season. Nebraska is 294th in defensive rebounding. This isn't that shocking, as the Cornhuskers play a lot of small lineups with 6 to 9 Isaac Copeland and 6 to 8 Isaiah Roby at the 4 and 5 positions. The team's only big option is 6 to 11 freshman Brady Heyman. Although he could provide a rebounding boost, I don't anticipate coach Tim Miles extending Heyman's minutes much beyond the 10.7 minutes he's averaging. The copeland Roby lineups are really strong offensively, and I don't think giving Heyman more minutes would improve rebounding enough to compensate for the offensive drop-off. It's worth mentioning that Coach Miles has experimented with Roby copeland heyman lineups. But nevertheless, it seems like Nebraska's best lineups are just going to struggle a bit to prevent offensive rebounds. Will they be able to overcome this? Nebraska has faced eight teams in the top 100 of Kent Palm. Four of these teams have overall offensive rebounding rates of greater than equals 30%, till the 100th or better. The Cornhuskers are 0-4 against these teams. Nebraska's two best offensive rebounding opponents, Minnesota and Maryland, grabbed 48.4% and 40% of offensive rebounds against the Cornhuskers. For reference only two teams in the nation, UNLV and Portland Street, have an overall off. Rebounding rate greater than 40%, both Minnesota and Maryland were road games, and the Maryland game in particular was a narrow defeat. But Nebraska is making things really hard on themselves by giving up this many offensive boards. Even so so offensive rebounding teams, see Creighton, Oklahoma Street, grab defensive rebounds at a top 25 rate against Nebraska. Defensive rebounding obviously isn't the only reason Nebraska has lost some games, and the But everything else equal, it seems reasonable to conclude that Nebraska will fare better against worse offensive rebounding opponents. So I thought it would be interesting to see how Nebraska's upcoming Big Ten opponents, excluding Minnesota and Maryland, fare at offensive rebounding. Interestingly, Minnesota and Maryland are statistically the best offensive rebounding teams in the Big Ten. Although there are other good offensive rebounding teams, this could fare well for Nebraska going forward. Next, top 25 power rankings their two toughest road games from a defensive rebounding perspective are in the past.